Queensland is mourning the loss of one of our favourite sporting legends, rugby league immortal Arthur Beetson. He suffered a heart attack while cycling on the Gold Coast, just before he was due at a, an event typical of his other passion, helping young Indigenous people. This is the moment they've been waiting for here at Lang Park. He made his name in an era when only rugby league's toughest shone through. Arthur Beetson was a true pioneer whose legacy still shapes the game he loved. After succumbing to a heart attack in a Gold Coast park, this morning the sport's greatest were lining up to pay tribute, especially those who played under him in that first state of origin. I'm like everybody else in rugby league at the moment, uh, absolutely shattered. Um, you know, rugby league and, and sport in general has lost one of its greatest and, uh, and most affectionate characters. Um, you know, he was the backbone of state of origin. Probably the greatest rugby league forward that this country has ever produced. Uh, he was uh, the first Indigenous uh, captain of any sport in Australia. He was a great bloke and a great friend. I mean, he's always been a proud Aboriginal man and, um, you know, he should be remembered for the man. You know, I mean, he's had a great sporting career, but he had this aura about him. And uh, when he walks into a room, um, everyone takes notice and, and stands up. So he had an enormous impact on, I think, Queensland society. That was evident this afternoon when 300 Indigenous youngsters were at Dreamworld. Arthur Beetson organised this lunch. He was supposed to be here. It's very heartbreaking that um, you know he won't be around uh, in the future to help his kids out. He's an icon. He's a, um, a legend of the game. He's an immortal, and uh, we we respect that. And we still do today. Arthur Beetson's influence spread beyond sport. He organised a travelling career day for Aboriginal youth. The program even bears his name, an acronym for achieving results through Indigenous education. This is make real difference. He has been someone that uh, has brought so much to the lives of Queenslanders and Australians. It's very shocking to hear of his death today. We've lost here in Queensland one of our favoured sons. There's talk of a statue or a state funeral, but any time Queensland faces the blues, thoughts of Big Artie will never be far away. Max Futcher, 10 News. The league legend was living with his family on the Gold Coast. Reporter Amber Austin Wright joins us. Amber, was there anything anyone could do for Artie? Bill, nurses and residents rushed to Arthur Beetson's side when they saw him collapse while he was riding his bike on the street. One man tried to resuscitate the 66-year-old before ambulance crews arrived, while two nurses who treat Artie at a medical centre not far from the scene were also on hand. Now, they say they did everything they could to help save the footy legend, but they just couldn't keep him alive. This is what they told us earlier. No, I was just doing what I could, and, yeah. Just lending as much assistance as possible until the ambulance got here. Everyone was, yeah, just trying to keep them alive and the ambulance guys were, were doing everything and uh, another man there, were they were doing teaming for the CPR, trying to keep him alive. Very shocked because everyone knows Artie and, yeah, it was a bit of a shock, yeah. They also told us they, like many, are huge fan fans of Artie and couldn't believe it was him who they helped and who was in trouble. All right, thank you, Amber Austin Wright on the Gold Coast. Big Artie left a sporting legacy that's still inspiring rugby league players. Peter O'Dempsey is in the newsroom and, Peter, it's remarkable that Artie's a Queensland legend despite only playing one Origin game. Georgie, it was just one game, but it was the most important because it was the very first one. Artie was a proud Queenslander, but he was forced to play most of his career for New South Wales because he was playing in the New South Wales competition. He got his chance to wear the Maroon jersey in 1980. He was 35 years old and he made the most of it. He led the Maroons to an unlikely victory and belted a couple of his Parramatta teammates in the process. State of Origin was born and ever since, Big Artie's been the godfather. Artie Beetson changed the face of rugby league. He entered the field for Queensland in the very first Origin match as a washed up Parramatta reserve grader. He left Lane Park a legend after his stoush with Eels teammates. Oh, gee, there's a big one by Wynn Beetson came at him. Actually, it was Greg Oliphant that put the first one in. The phrase mate versus mate and state versus state was born. And so was a whole new breed of football. Artie's powerful performance sparking an unlikely victory that's inspired the Maroons for decades. 
when he uh, displayed the enormous courage he did at 35 years of age to take the opposition on single-handed, I thought, well, I better put my hand up and help him out. In his prime, the hulking kid from the western Queensland cattle town of Roma was considered the best running forward Australia ever produced. He shone in his test taboo against Great Britain in 1966. Joining in the play, Diamond sends Beetson on another ground-gaining run and the 16 and a half stoner never fails to make his presence felt. One of those games that I had one of those uh, taboos that you dream about. Beetson's weight remained a subject for debate throughout his career and long after. Funny thing, I didn't pass too many people on the road at 5.30 in the morning when I was doing my, my three and four mile road runs of the morning. And the same people that, uh, you know, they said I had a lack of discipline. Uh, I never saw them out on the track either. His talent undeniable. He left Balmain in 1971, guiding the Roosters to two premierships before taking over as coach. He was controversially sacked as Queensland coach in 1990, holding no grudges. They just want a normal person, someone that wouldn't cost so much to outfit each year. Whether it be recruiting talent or selecting sides, Beetson's origin influence remained powerful. So was his stature in the state that he loved, named as a Queensland ambassador two decades after that famous origin appearance. I was just trying to think whether it means I have to go to every pub on the way or something and have a light beer and uh, be an ambassador, but I'm, I don't think it'll change my life. Installed as Rugby League's seventh immortal, the accolades flowed for Big Artie from the beginning to the end. A larger-than-life character who yeah, cast a are. massive the shadow over the game that loved him back. He'll be sadly missed. 